Hopefully this one doesn't come out upside down. Hey, I don't know if you're lucky or unlucky. I'm working in the living room near the computer so I can check my messages and I try to be as responsive as possible to my friends out there. Dedicate this to Glenn. Excellent idea. I am working on my second book and I do feel, you know, instead of just trying to churn something out, what do I like? What do I feel I'm good at? And one of them definitely is painting and design. And I will do a video of me actually painting this bow and, and, and tracing around my templates. This is Raven. And there are some, what do you call those things? Uh, the little bands that aren't going to be on it that hold the design together. So it might be hard to envision the positive and negative fields. And, you know, you'd have to be in my head to figure out the color scheme. A lot of those are just going to be black fields, but some of them are negatives too. And so that is the wake that Raven is leaving in his his wake for redundant, see redundant, I'll say that again, going towards a moon. And, and so that tip is actually going to be black and that three-legged structure is going to be um, rawhide. So, you know, it kind of complicate things trying to figure out exactly what it's going to look like from this video. I know what it's going to look like. That second bow, the limbs look so much like wings. And so this is actually going to be the wings of a great bird. Um, a feather motif on that recurved bow. And so that is Mike's bow, that upper one. That's going to be so sweet. I am a big fan in templates, especially if you're um, doing complex patterns and you want to have symmetry. I can fold like that ellipse, um, the second object from the right, I can fold it in half and make sure that it's symmetrical. I can fold it in the quadrants, I can fold it any way I want to make sure everything is square and deal and even deals and even. because. The subtleties are important. If it wasn't symmetrical, it wouldn't look right. The rawhide makes a tremendous canvas. I love the, the color differences in there. And so, Glenn, my friend, I shall actually, when it gets to the point, when I, I stiffen up these templates, I shall then, because I don't edit, do a video on me doing the lines, and then the second one, painting. The painting takes a long time, so you'll only get a partial thing. But I can, I can hit you up with some tips and tricks um, for line work. There are definite tips and tricks. Um, a little spiel on the brushes that I use. Don't cheap out on brushes. Man, if it's a choice between a, a $15 or $20 brush and a $1 brush, take the 20 You know, they last a long time if you take care of them and the bristles are so much nicer. With that, I shall continue working. Huh. This isn't work. This is play. Thank you for buying my bows because you give me an excuse to not have to go to work. Have a good one, everyone.